to day five of my 12 days of Christmas holiday countdown. I am here today to show you guys some things that I must have for the winter months. Um, I live in Ohio. I told you, uh, I've told you guys before, and the winters here can get really, really tough. So I have a few things that I arm myself with, along with a few just random items that I don't feel my winter is complete without. So let's just dive right into it. Um, first, I'm going to start with nails. Um, my nails have a problem with chipping and breaking off very very easily my hands are always in and out of water so something that I find helps out I'm not gonna say it's the cure-all but it definitely helps as long as I'm using it consistently it is the OPI nail envy and I use the, the sensitive and peeling formula um, and like I said as long as I'm using this on a consistent basis I can really really tell the difference in my nails um, as you can see my nails are like all different lengths and that's mainly because they just peel off so easily like so something like that it's really really good for my nails and then too my cuticles they get really really dry as well so I use the C&D solar oil and I mean this isn't something that you absolutely have to use I think this is nothing but um, sweet almond oil yeah, it has sweet almond oil and jojoba oil and a few other things that you know are just random but something like this really helps me out because like I said my, my cuticles can get really dry and cracked and um, yeah so going with the theme of hands you always need a really really good hand cream and I use the I want to say um, I pray to God that I'm not pronouncing this wrong but chances are I am uh, the La Octane, maybe, I don't know. It's their hand cream for dry skin and it says that it has 20% shea butter in it. My skin loves shea butter. I think everybody's skin loves shea butter, but it's just a really, really thick, thick cream. Um, I use this almost every night before I go to bed. Um, it's not something that I put on throughout the day. I have another one that I like to use throughout the day, but this one is really, really good at the end of the night when you know that you're not really about to be touching too much of anything else because it is a bit balmier and um, you don't want to leave your little fingerprints all over everything. So this is a really, really good one to use at night. And it probably wouldn't hurt to use it on your feet too, like along with some socks. But anyways. So next, you want to exfoliate your body. I have talked about this exfoliator before, so I won't get too deep into it, but it is the Hand and Body Scrub by Shea Moisture. It is their Superfruit Complex line. I love this stuff. I will live by it, and I will continue to buy it. So you definitely want to exfoliate because you want to, you know, give your skin to, you know, Give it, give it a chance to turn over and like bring out your new radiant skin and also to just slough off all of that dryness. Um, this has like a lot of hydrating ingredients in it as well, like the mango butter. So this also hydrates your skin very, very nicely as well. And then speaking of hydration, you want to use a really good body lotion or butter. Um, this one just just so happens to be the one that I'm using currently and I have also talked about these before it is their super fruit complex or shea moisture super fruit complex uh, body lotion and this also has the mango butter the green coffee bean extract and I use the oil and the lotion mixed together for extra hydration because mama needs it all right so um, moving on to the face the face is extremely important to keep hydrated because we do not want premature wrinkles. So the first step is always exfoliating. Um, I just use um, a gentle wash for my face and depending on that time of the month I may use like some kind of an acne wash but I didn't want to show like a specific cleanser because I'm kind of all over the place right now but something that I always use whenever I do is my Clarisonic and I have the Aria but I mean any Clarisonic is good and I have the um, I want to say this is the acne brush 
but I mean it just really really gets in deep and purifies your skin from the inside out making sure that you you get deep into those pores and everything else I love this thing I got it for my birthday this past year and my skin has thanked me ever since because I have not been getting as oily I haven't been getting as many blackheads as I usually get so this is something that I would definitely definitely say is a great purchase a great investment the facial moisturizer that I use in the winter time is by whipped body goods and it is a small business owned by a young lady in Cincinnati um, I've had this cream now for it's been at least a year so I mean it looks a little old I don't know when it expires but this cream is the bomb like I would have to look on the website to get the, the exact ingredients but I believe all of her products are shea butter based and like just from the smell of this you can tell it has like some kind of like peppermint or like some kind of menthol-y feeling because even as you rub it into your skin it gives you like a cooling effect it's so nice and I swear every time that I have like any kind of breakout any kind of like dry patches or anything I'll put this in my face put this on my face and I don't have to use a whole lot because like I said I've had this same container for at least a year if not longer really and I mean I'm not even I'm just about halfway done with it but you just use a tiny bit you make sure that you moisturize it in really really good I mainly use this at night because of course during the day you don't want your your skin to be too you know balmy but this stuff is the whip by wit so yeah now moving on to a mask that I like to use um, whenever I need a little bit of more hydration underneath my eyes specifically I use the Glam Glow Bright Mud Eye Treatment and uh, this stuff here man it's so expensive but I actually looked up and found it at my Marshalls and um, it comes in these little capsules and instead of putting because like they have one side for each eye instead of putting one for each I split one part of it up I just open it up halfway and I use this for both eyes and that way I get double the use out of the package and it comes with um, does this come with? oh it comes with 12 so I mean you'll get 24 uses out of the 12 that they recommend in here but this stuff gets my under eyes so hydrated I can really tell a difference especially like when I put on my makeup because no matter what like I'm always going to have to wear a concealer because I just genetically I have dark dark under eye circles but this really really hydrates my under eyes and I feel like it's going to help long term as far as wrinkles and everything so that's definitely another potential. Another product that I have by Whipped Body Goods is their lip cream and almond. And I mean, again, I ordered this when I ordered the facial cream and I barely <laughs> dug into it. Like you just need the tiniest amount and it's perfect. Like you don't, you don't need a lot at all. But this really, really hydrates my lips um, just on a regular day. If I need something that's a bit more, you know, penetrating and serious, this is a sample that I received and uh, it's by Dr. Lip. It's their original nipple balm for lips. It's 100% natural as well, but this stuff is so rich and it's so serious. Like I use this on my daughter, my youngest daughter. Her lips get really, really chapped. And so I put this on her lips at night and like even not even like the next morning but like before she went to bed that night because I put it on her right after her bath her lips were 10 times better like when I say her lips were cracked and peeling and almost to the verge of bleeding that's how chapped they get and I put this on within like a few hours was so much smoother it just looked much supple much more supple and just everything it was this stuff here mm -hmm. 
thumb. Now, last thing is um, a, a part of my winter essentials is a good red lip. I know that's, you're like, what? Like, I went from taking care of your body and stuff to a red lip. Now, let me explain. You can be feeling like crap. You cannot have any kind of makeup on, nothing. Like, maybe some eyebrows. That's it. And a red lip in the wintertime? Oh, life, honey. This is the one that I'm currently using at the moment. It's called Siren and Scarlet, and it is from Maybelline's matte line, but it is just such a beautiful red, and I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. I don't own like Ruby Woo or anything else, so I can't compare it to any MAC lipsticks or you know any other lipstick for that matter, but I just know that I have been loving this so much ever since I bought it. Every time I put on a red lip, this is the one that I use. So. Yeah, that you always need in the winter months is a good sweater and this is actually one of my favorites and I'll back up a little bit so you can see it a little bit more but it's just a good chunky sweater like I think I got this one from H&M um, maybe about two years ago possibly but I'll stand up so you can see but it's um, just you know a regular sweatshirt but it has like that drop down in the back so it'd be really really nice to wear with a good pair of leggings because it kind of covers up your bottom a little bit so yeah you need a great sweater you need a ton of those fun socks you need fun socks this is what you need like when you're at family's house for the holiday or over a friend's house you put on some fun socks you know when you take your shoes off when you go in their house or whatever if if you do it's a conversation. These are my, these are actually, these inspired me to pick up the mug that I picked up, which is the other thing that you always need in the winter time, a good warm drink. I got this little guy from my Meyer, but in here I have, um, I have the donut, donut house blend coffee, and I have the, International Delight Peppermint. What is it called? Peppermint Chocolate Truffle Creamer. Oh, this is to die for. Like you always need a good beverage to keep you warm while you're snuggled up with your whatever, with your boo, with your bae, and just having something to sip on. If you have a fireplace, lit, light that joint up. Yes. Yes. Honey. Yes. So, these are all of my winter essentials. If you guys do want to see the hair essentials, then make sure that you stay tuned. Um, like I said, that should be posted within the next couple of days. Um, so, yeah. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.